Hey everyone, I'm Nog and welcome back to Satisfactory. Uh, today we are going to unlock uh, uh, the expanded power infrastructure. We need uh, 50 heavy modular frames, 50 computers and 100 motors, which I forgot to pick up. Uh, but let's stick in the computers and the frames and then let's go grab some computers over here. Uh, so we can get that unlocked, because I really want to get some, uh, some, uh, what's it called? Where do we have motors? Over there. Uh, I really want to get some oil power uh, going, because we are very low on, uh, on energy right now, or on power right now, I think. Uh, and I want to get the oil power going before I start setting up the next round of, uh, of production because I don't want to, uh, to flip the switch and have our all our power shut down because we are overproducing. So let's unlock this. That'll take 14 Milestone minutes reached. to return. The fuel generator will match power generation to the increased consumption of recently acquired technologies and buildings. Additionally, improved conveyor belts can now be constructed. Very good. Improved conveyor belts and our new refineries. Let's have a look at that. Power. Fuel generator. It's not too bad to make. Uh, three... Heavy modular frames, five motors, five circuit boards, and 25 cables. So that's not too bad. I think we can do probably make quite a few of those. And how much power do they produce? 150 megawatts. That is very nice. We are going to get that set up. And what about the new conveyor belts? They can transport 450 resources per minute, which, which is going to be very useful and they cost one uh, encased industrial beams. So after we set up our power over here, uh, we'll set up the oil power over at the oil patches, we will need to set up encased industrial beam production uh, and quite a lot of it. So, but that's okay. I think you know, let's have a look at the MAM and see what that has for us. Uh, the analysis of quick wire is completed. Please choose a new specimen in the list to begin a new analysis. All right. New technologies have been developed based on this new element, primarily in power and electronics, and can now be accessed in Hub Tier 5. All right, we're going to have to go take a look at that. Uh, let's see, supercomputer. That sounds interesting, but it needs 10 supercomputers. We don't have any hard drives. We do have some mycelia that we could stick in. Uh, do we have any fabric? I don't think so. Uh, but we could make some. But let's go get some uh, mycelia and stick into uh, the man. Let's see where do we have that. I think we have it in here. Uh, yes. Oops, I'm stuck. There. That was a hard door to get through. Alright, so stick in 20 mycelia there and research that. And stick the rest back in here. We don't really need it. Alright, but in order to make our fuel generators, we need some motors and some circuit boards. I have some circuit boards in here somewhere. Seven of them, so that's one. I don't think I have more. That's rubber, right? Yeah. Uh, there's some motors there that we can grab, and that's about it. So let's go grab some more motors. What do we need to make the circuit boards? Oh, I need to look in the crafting bench. I forgot what we need to make circuit boards. Uh, we have alternate circuit board, which needs plastic and quick wire, which we don't have any left of, really. Uh, so, what about a regular circuit board? Needs wire and plastic. We're going to need to go pick up some plastic. Okay. 
we can do that. But we can uh, actually just pick up some wire and bring... And then we can set up a crafting bench over there so we don't have to run back and forth. So let's see, where do we have wire? Right there. So let's bring all the wire we can. Ah, we, oh, we do need room for some motors as well. Let's just... what can we scrap? Hmm. That. So that'll give us some extra motors. Yeah. That's gonna be it. Alright, let's go up. Whoa! All our power just shut off. You hear that? Why are we not producing power? That's bad. That is really bad. Let's uh, go have a look over here. We do have... Coal everywhere, it seems. Yeah. Uh, we got over the 1800 mark. So, I know, you know what I'm going to do? I am going to cut off the entire factory right now. Because we don't really need it going. So, if we just take down this power line. Then we can switch the f uh, flip the switch again, and this is all going. All right, so that's much better. But uh, let's go get those motors and then get over to the oil process processing. Uh, I think I'll do that real quick and I'll come back. Uh, once we have we're over there so we'll see you in a few minutes or by the magic of editing for you in a couple of seconds all right so we're back and i have set up a bit of a foundation here i actually did that in between episodes uh, but this is where we're going to have our uh, power plant uh, it's probably going to need to be bigger than this but uh, gives us an idea at least of where it's gonna be and I have crafted up a few circuit boards which was what we needed to get the fuel generator set up so let's set up one of these bad boys and see what it looks like that is pretty cool actually that is very very cool and what does it run on uh, I guess it need it runs on fuel, so we need to uh, grab this, convert it into fuel, and then run it over here. So let's try and put down a. Actually, let's put this on zero, and we'll put an oil refinery on nine. And so uh, let's place down an oil refinery just to take a look. And this needs to make fuel. And, and okay, so it creates five fuel in eight seconds. I guess that should be enough to supply a few of these. Uh, so let's get down some of these first. Let's delete this generator first, and let's place these or big boys down and see okay so we have input we have output so if we do something like this there's room to get by here there's input and let's place a few of these down Let's say four. We don't need to leave space in between, I think. No. There. Oops. Is 
a space for four? If there is. Alright, four refineries. Okay. Uh, we need some power poles for them. Where do we want to put those? I think we'll put them over on this side. We'll put one in between each of each set of two, you might say. All right, and put this up to there, and then this up to there, this up to there. Oh, thank you. There. All right, so all four of those are hooked up to power, except the power line is not hooked up to any generation yet. Uh, okay. And these consume how much power? I wonder. Uh, 50 megawatts. So four of these should be able to provide power for a lot of uh, oil generators because they basically take up a third of the oil generators output so let's uh, place down some oil generators and they have an input somewhere again i guess i don't see it though oh there it is we want the input to be over on this side Fuel generator, they're called, not oil generators. Put one there. There. And we need more foundations, which we can do. We have the materials for it. Right there. So let's stick down some more foundations. I think we'll just do, what, five? All right, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one more row. There we go. And let's plunk down some more generators here. How many do you think we can have? And let's see, one, two, three. That was only four. I think we can at least double that. At least double that. Probably even more. Hmm. Okay. That means that we need more foundations. Which means that we need to take down some of this stuff. Tear all of this stuff down. Right. And you have to go too. I'm sorry, barrel nut. And whoops, I didn't want to put that there. Let's put the foundation on eight so we don't have to go in here all the time. All right. One, two, three, four, five. I hope we can do this all the way. We have enough materials for that, I am not sure. How we do? More than enough. Alright, so let's get some more going and I hate having the chainsaw, chainsaw in my hand because it makes so much noise. Uh, this should enable us to get down two more at least and then let's hook everything up and see. There, another fuel generator. And there, another fuel generator. So this alone is, let's see, three, six, that's 900 megawatts. That's more than we were generating with our, what was it, 16 uh, coal generators. All right, so let's see, can we make another... Um, Oil pump. Yes, we can. 
Uh, and we have oil somewhere. Over here. Well, I think I want to get this one and use for power for now. So let's set up an oil pump. Like so. And I know that we need uh, better belts for this. Oh, you're the wrong way. Let's try that again, shall we? Oil pump. Output this way. We, we do need the Mark IV belts for this, I think. Uh, but uh, it is what it is. I might not have brought enough beans with me to get all of this set up. I hope I did, but I am not sure at all. Uh, let's go over here. Um, oh, oh, that was not one I wanted. I think we need to get some more foundation going here. Alright, I'm missing concrete now. Uh, fair enough. Uh, three there. Mark three belt. Coming up here. This is going to be made nicer. Okay, we're missing concrete. Darn it. Alright, I am going to run back and get some concrete and probably some more steel beams. And then I'll be right back. See you in a second. All right, so we're back and uh, all of this foundation has been built. Now we just need to get the, uh, uh, let's get this out of our hands. It's annoying to watch. Uh, so let's get the belt going up here. I'm gonna make this prettier at some point, but right now I just want it to work. Um, so this will probably come in the uh, wall mounted thing at some point. Let's run it down here. I'm running out of here. That's straight. Yeah, that's straight. This should, I hope, give us enough space to get some splitters in and get it hooked up. While we're building this, we might as well make it nice, so we don't have to redo everything, right? Yeah, all right, uh, splitters, logistics splitter on six and merger on seven. We're gonna need both. All right, splitter. And let's see, input is there. That looks right. And hook it up. Actually, let, let's get some power going over there. So that we get everything ready. Let's just stick this here. I'm not sure it's the greatest idea to stick power lines in the water, but it is what it is. jump up here and see if we can't get it to go around the foundation because that would be really nice we can good all right so we're almost over here all right so that's hooked up which should mean that we start generating some oil yes we are and we're generating 240 a minute which this mark 3 belt can handle but i think i might want to overclock it to 450. all right 
let's uh, get the rest of these put in there. And why isn't it lining up? Because it kind of is there. Right. So, put you in there. Put you in there. And this one is certainly not lined up. be okay. And oops. Put this one in there. But it's not splitting it in there. I hope it will. It's not splitting it in there either. Alright. We are going to do this a different way. These splitter things are really sometimes very annoying. So let's set it up. That. Mm. that is this lined up with the belt? I hope it is. This one is now. I think they are all lined up with the belt. Alright, so. Get them going in there. This could just be Mark 2 belt, I guess, or even Mark 1. Never mind right now. Um, get that going over there. Get that going over there. So. And then it's just hooking up this one. Hopefully, this will work. Fuel is going in there, fuel is going in there, fuel is going in there, and fuel is going out there. Excellent. Alright, then we need to hook these guys up to each other. And what we can do is put in, we actually need a merger going up down this way, and then it needs to come back and be splitters. So this act might actually be a little bit tight. Um, let's see, this first one doesn't need a merger. We can just pull that out and come around. Like so. Let's get the mergers in first so that we don't have the same problem as we did before. And this location there, I think. Let's just check that that's right. It is not. That is not straight. We need to move it in one. Right there. Is that straight? Yeah, that's straight. Alright, so let's get the mergers going. Output we want over there. 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 Like so. And then I guess we will, for now, just go all the way down to the end of the generators. And then we'll come around. And start going the other way. So uh, let's see. Splitters. Input is here. We need one there. Let's just run them all the way down. So we don't have to worry about them again. last one doesn't need a splitter. Right, oh, we might as well actually just run the belt along as we go. 
do come over here. We're probably going to get the floor is too steep thing. Yes, we are. Well, let's use uh, this. If you do it without the belt, if you just place the uh, the pull down, then it doesn't actually complain about the floor being too steep. So that is a workaround to that problem. However, I don't think there is one for the machines sometimes saying the floor is too steep when you build it on these uh, uh, intersections where, where, where the uh, foundations meet up. Okay, this is set up and that is not straight whatsoever. I do need to come over a little bit further, so we need to take this out. And this. Like that and come over here. That was one too far. And let's see, it's here. There. So you come over here. And you come over there. All right. So all of these are now hooked up, I hope. We just need to get them some power poles. And then uh, we should be able to just hook it up and see the whole process start. So, uh, so let's get that done. Let's see, there's one, two, so let's see between those two. We need one in here between those two. Yeah. And then we need one in between the last two. Yeah. And we will hook them up with lines. There. And you over there, you over there. And you do this one and this one. And you this one and that one and then we need to put them up together which we can do right there and then we need to get power line mm, actually we can't do it right there uh, we could but I would like to be able to get uh, more power lines up here so let's just do like this Put you up to there and you up to there. Where are you? There. And then we can take you and run out here. And actually just hook you up to there. And that should mean that everything gets going. Oh, I forgot. So let's just take this one out because what I really want to do is see all of it get going at once. So we're configure these four. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. And fuel. Alright, so all four are configured for fuel. And can we get up? Yeah, we can. We can get on top of them, can't we? But here, maybe we can't get on top of these things. Nope, doesn't look like it. That's a shame. But all right, let's see. All right, everything is moving. Whoa, I forgot to hook out the output. All right. So I guess there won't be much, much use without the output hooked up. Producing some fuel. And it's going down there to the end, and it's going into the plants. 
and as they get fired up, we get a lot more power capacity. But these four should definitely be able to supply more than these six, I'm guessing. Because us, their own power consumption is insane. Uh, nothing is going into that one, I think. Let's see. Yeah, it is. And then this one also has some. Uh, hmm. Maybe they can. It only has one now, and here comes another one. Two. Is there one more coming here. There's one coming, and that should go straight. Yeah. It goes down to one again, and back up to two. So maybe it is actually four to six. It seems a little bit crazy. But these are... This is full. This is getting full. So they're working at 100%. And I'm pretty sure. This is now up to three. Okay, so it is building up a little bit. So maybe we can put two more. Maybe it's two to one. Can you see this consumption on this row? Suppose we could time it, but we have to find that. Uh, all right. Hmm. Okay. Uh, okay, well, uh, of course, the, the need, these need to fill up first, then this one will fill up and more will go through and so on and so forth, so yeah, we are producing way more fuel than we need to, way more fuel, and even though everything is not backed up, I mean, we are up to 1700 megawatts of power. So we could definitely hook up our main factory again. So this is really, really cool. We have a lot of power and we have a lot of fuel being produced. And that's just from one uh, node here and we could double that. And this is a... Uh, we're producing more, so how, how much is this consuming a minute? 37 and a half fuel per minute so that's 75 that's 150 that we're consuming now uh, which means that we could hook up let's see 150 that's 225 so we could get two more going without overclocking our uh, pump over there which means we basically could let's say that we could supply eight of these with these four. That means that one supplies two. So if we build two more of these, then we could get up to 12. Uh, 12 uh, fuel generators. And I think we could probably go even higher. So, uh, yeah, we are generating a lot of power and I don't think we, uh, we need to worry about too much about that uh, for a while, which is fantastic. Look at the fuel going on there. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. But that is going to be it for this time, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. And I'll see you next time.